Hey everybody, this is Saber, and today we'll be showing off what's new in our latest update for StarMade. This update's biggest feature is the new transporter mechanic. With this comes two new blocks, the transporter module and the transporter computer. Place the transporter computer down and connect it to the module blocks with the C and V keys. You can connect more than one transporter module to the computer. When you access the transporter computer with the R key, an interface will show you nearby transporter pads up to a sector away. Selecting the destination will send you to the transporter pad there after activating it. You will need to be standing on the transporter module, so make sure you can reach the computer or get someone to help. Transporters on the same entity will display each other on the list of destinations. The public option lets anyone transport to the transporter. The faction option only lets others transport to the transporter if both structures are in the same faction. Make note that when someone transports from another entity, the shields of both the departing structure and the destination structure will be brought down. The transporter beacon is a new tool available from Shopkeeps that will let you transport back to a ship as an astronaut. With this tool, you can mark the transporter computer that you want to transport to by left-clicking on it. Later, when you are ready, you can right-click the item in your inventory and hit Transport to be sent back to your marked transporter. This only works if it is in range and the entity is set to public or faction. Another new feature are activation gates and race gates. Both of these new gates must be built in the same way as warp gates. You must construct a 2D loop out of the gate modules and connect them to the gate computers with the C and V keys. The activation gate will toggle a logic signal from its computer whenever a ship or player passes through. Use this instead of the trigger area blocks for your larger structures. Activation gates can be placed on everything. The race gate is a bit more complicated, so this will be a specific example. We have three gates here. One will be the start, there is a middle gate, and the last gate is the finish line. Each gate has its own computer. Get a marker beam tool and go to your second gate. Right click on the computer and make your way back to your first gate. Now left click on that computer. Now walk to your third gate and right click on that computer and then left click on gate 2's computer. You are essentially making a chain. Keep in mind you can have as many gates as you wish, even just one gate. They will all need to be connected in the same fashion however. If you want to create a looped track for multiple laps, you will need to right click on your first gate computer and left click on the last gate computer. If you do not do this in set laps when you start the race, it will automatically link the starting gate and the ending gates. Lastly, you will need to connect an activation module or other logic to your starting gate computer with the C and V keys. Sending an on signal will trigger the race. Now, to start a race, press R on the race computer you wish to start from. A menu will pop up where you can start a race, join a race, leave a race, or cancel a race. Click Create New Race to set the number of laps, a name for the race, and money that will be paid out to the first three winners. Racers will need to supply their own credits, and the split is 60, 30, 
and 10% to first, second, and third place winners, respectively. Players can also access the race menu by accessing the top menu bar under the Messages tab. Once a race has been set and everyone is joined, activate the logic. You will see your own position in the upper left along with lap time. Now we all know that planet mining was a major issue. We took the time to make sure after this update that it will be less of a problem. You should expect a performance improvement for both your client and the server. We also know that asteroids are becoming rare on servers and added a server option to allow them to replenish. After a set period of time, unloaded asteroid sectors will replenish their asteroids as long as that sector doesn't contain any ships, station, or planet entities. It can be enabled from the server config file. Lastly, there has been a lot of cleanup in the world databases for your servers. Admins can tell their server to clean up the data for their servers by removing the files for unmodified NPC stations that spawn in their universe. This will decrease the file size of their database. Take note that the conversion process can take a very long time with larger databases. More information on this and the other features can be found in the link in the description down below. Thanks for watching and as always, thanks for playing StarMade.